The Gogebic Iron Area Narcotics Team last week arrested four individuals accused of distributing drugs in Ironwood. The team investigated the alleged drug dealers when they received information that the four were distributing methamphetamine in Ironwood and Hurley, Wisconsin. Investigators engaged in several controlled drug purchases with the individuals and obtained information leading them to believe the methamphetamine was coming from the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. Among those arrested was David Opsal, age 51. When Opsal was arrested in Hurley, he was allegedly in possession of one half pound of methamphetamine. When investigators executed search warrants pertaining to Opsal, they seized methamphetamine, prescription medications, and drug paraphernalia, including a digital scale and drug packaging supplies. Opsal was charged with conspiracy to deliver methamphetamine, two counts of delivery of methamphetamine, two counts of delivery of methamphetamine within a thousand feet from a school, two counts of maintaining a drug house, and possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine. Teal Reese, age 43, was arrested in Bessemer, Michigan. Search warrants pertaining to Reese led to the seizure of methamphetamine, prescription drugs, illegal mushrooms, marijuana, a firearm with ammunition, digital scale, and drug packaging supplies. Reese has been charged with conspiracy to deliver methamphetamine, three counts of delivery of methamphetamine, delivery of methamphetamine within 1,000 feet from a school, maintaining a drug house, and possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine. The narcotics team also arrested Travis Havens, age 34, in Bessemer. Havens, who is currently on parole, has been charged with delivery of methamphetamine, conspiracy to deliver methamphetamine, and possession of a Schedule II drug. Nicole Emily Rivera, age 34, was also arrested in Bessemer. She was charged with possession of methamphetamine and possession of methamphetamine within 1,000 feet from a park. All four defendants are currently lodged at the Iron County Sheriff Department. The narcotics team investigation into these individuals is ongoing. They may face additional charges and further arrests are likely, according to the team. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jessica Podola.